go straight to getting ready, straight to waking up the kids. But sometimes I get caught up in routine. The routine of just, it's time to get up for another day, it's time to wake everybody up, you know, I've got to get them dressed. You start thinking about all the things you have to do, rather than thinking about another opportunity to teach them about the, you know, the blessing of life. And I'm trying to be intentional um, about doing that, the way that I wake them up. Sometimes we're able to have devotions in the morning, sometimes we're not, because it's a rush and things are crazy. Um, but it's just another opportunity, it's family time. Um, and I know my parents always talk about how much of a how much of a struggle it was to get four kids out of the house. Crystal, Priscilla, Anthony, and myself. We're young, we're running around. My mom's packing lunches and doing all those different things. It's also now one of the things that they miss. Um, it's just that craziness. And so, it's a blessing. You know, this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Um, and so that's something that we have to remember. You have to be intentional about it. Otherwise, you'll fall into routine. And again, you won't be enjoying the little things that God gives you. And the little things are, you get to wake your kids up in the morning. Um, you get to send them on their way. Basically, it's a representation of what God does for us. He wakes us up in the morning and he sends us on his way. And then he tells us to rejoice uh, because it's another day that God has given us. So I think uh, as families, as parents, as grandparents, um, just being intentional about how much of a blessing it is just to get a new day. We say it, um, but it's another thing to act like it and your kids to feel it when you wake up, wake them up in the morning that, and they're, they're like, why are you excited? I'm tired, you know, I'm so sleepy. They're mad at me. The fact that I'm excited makes them more mad. They'll get used to it and that's, that's another thing they'll remember. Um, I want my kids to, you know, I've got a lot to work on as a father, you know, fruits of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience. Woo. That's a big one. Um, hey, it's a new day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Wait. Come on. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Everybody hop up. Here we go, boys. Day two. Hey, 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 hey. This is the day. This is the day. The sheets off of you, boy. I will rejoice be glad in it. And be glad in it. This is the <laughs> day. Hey, it's almost the end of the week. Hey, come on. Let's go. Another day. Another day, another dollar. This is the day that the Lord has made. Here we go. All right, let's get dressed. You get downstairs in five minutes. Here we go. Help him, Lord, to uh, depart from evil and do good. Help him to do good today at school. Help him to have a great day listening to his teachers. And help him to be a mighty man of God, Lord, as he continues to grow up. Uh, help him to learn good things uh, from me and his mom. And help him to teach those good things to others as he becomes a great leader for your kingdom. I pray for Kai Kai, Lord. I just thank you for her strength. Thank you for her life. Thank you for the gifts that you've given her. I pray that she point all of her gifts towards you, Lord. I pray that you bless her so that she can be a blessing to your kingdom, that she be a great woman of God, a great uh, leader for your kingdom, Lord, and that you would do great things through her life, Lord. So I give you the glory for her. Heavenly Father, I thank you for Kelsey. Thank you for the oldest. Thank you for giving her to our family. We're blessed to have her, Lord, because of you. I pray, Lord, that she would uh, grow up and continue to grow strong in the Lord, depart from evil, Lord, and that nothing would come against her that would stand, uh, but that she would continue to stand on you, Lord, and be a leader for good, Lord, for your kingdom, and that you would bless her so that she can continue to be a blessing to you, Lord. So we're thankful for Kelsey. And last but not least, Lord, we're thankful for my oldest son, uh, uh, J2. We thank you for his life, Lord. Thank you for the, the man that he will become because of you. Getting here and after working out and, and waking the kids up in the morning, uh, it's, it's exciting for me. It brings back memories of when I was on their end. Just an encouragement 
uh, to all of the parents out there is to don't get tired of doing good. I get tired of it sometimes, but it's really good uh, when you're there waking up your children, getting them ready for their day, but encouraging them through your attitude. That's something me and my wife are trying to work on. Again, patience is something that as a father I want to work on. But then just giving them that energy because they take that energy. Because our kids feed off our energy and that's something I'm working on again the fruits of the spirit Just loving them being patient with them and passing on that joy um, So that they can go into their day with good energy and it doesn't always go that way Sometimes it's rough in the mornings because they're not listening I may be frustrated about something that's going on just in life But the reality is that they, they feed on that and they're carrying our character Which hopefully is the image of God and so we're trying to take those fruits of the spirit that dwells in us and pass it to them so that they can do what God originally intended, which was to be fruitful and multiply. That wasn't just to have kids that look like us, it was to have kids that look like him. But we have to pass that energy on. Sometimes we get in that routine and we just push them out the door because we're rushing, we're trying to get those things done. Uh, but then we didn't invite God into their day and invite God into our day. It's important to, to pass a blessing to all of our kids. So that's something that we work on, something that we're trying to be more consistent with, something that you should be more consistent with because it's just, that important uh, to do that uh, with your kids as often as possible praying over them I mean that's just it is what it is you know what I mean and so um, just making sure that God is a part of what's going on and so hopefully that encourages you um, I know it's uh, one of my favorite verses first John 5 14 that we have confidence that if we pray according to God's will that he hears us I think it's according to God's will for us to pass on his image us to pass on that energy that is the fruits of the spirit so that they can become all that God has called them to be. So let's do it together. Let's do it together because we're in it together.